Hello, uh, I'm Charles Brookson. Uh, I was uh, chairman of the GSM Association Security Group and uh, back in 1986 I actually wrote the GSM Security. And uh, I moderated the panel on the Internet of Things, A Force for Good or Evil. And of course with that title uh, we had uh, quite a bit of discussion amongst the panel about uh, the uh, normal paranoia one would have with such devices uh, of the Internet of Things. Uh, we did avoid uh, trying to define the Internet of Things and uh, it was pointed out that the Internet of Things uh, went back a long time uh, to, uh, to, to very early ages when we had uh, connected devices. Uh, but now it's only coming on uh, people's consciousness and of course we had uh, all sorts of discussions about uh, uh, the trust of the equipment, how it communicated to each other, and for example, how uh, one of the examples was that somebody could uh, create a false temperature uh, on a device that would then bring up air conditioning or, or change heating. And of course, the Internet of Things, it was talked about that it might well be 50 million devices interconnected, and uh, we have to have the appropriate security for that. And there was a great deal of discussion about what was an appropriate level of security and the fact that many people were creating devices without any kind of security or thought of security. There was also a great deal of discussion about the legal issues uh, because there's things like privacy. Uh, so do you really want people to know which television channels you're, uh, you're, you're watching or whether you're at home taking a shower, which of course your smart meter will respond to you. And there was, of course, the uh, usual discussion, I would say, about cars and uh, smart cars and whether you could hack into those. In the end, we uh, had a balanced view uh, about the Internet of Things, I think it would be fair to say. Uh, clearly, there were threats and issues. Clearly, there were legal things which uh, varied amongst countries and people had different views about what uh, privacy might mean, whether it was uh, in, uh, in one country or another and uh, some, some people also had uh, different views on how quickly laws could catch up and uh, whether devices were being uh, developed quicker than the legal frameworks to ensure people's privacy and uh, to make sure that what happened. Of course, uh, there's many devices uh, we discussed about, uh, devices that allowed you to, uh, that you had to sacrifice your data in order, for example, to play games. Uh, and many people just tick boxes on their devices uh, just because they want to play a game involving candy or birds or something like that. And uh, very few people actually read through the, uh, the privacy terms of that. But I think in the end we ended up with a balanced view uh, about the whole discussion about the Internet of Things. A lot of people were positive, uh, but clearly there are many issues that we need to address uh, over the next uh, few months and years uh, as, as to how we can ensure an appropriate level of privacy and how we can make people aware as to what they're sacrificing and giving up in order to make sure that we uh, have a safer and better world. Thank you.